What's going on YouTube? It's Chris here again for Friendly Frenzy Games and today we're going to show you how to quickly and easily get the rare, the family you choose Starfield achievement on Steam. Now this is yet again another very simple achievement that can likely be completed in about an hour but even less if you already have the necessary missions completed and these specific NPCs are still alive. So the family you choose is a rare Starfield achievement for Steam because only 6.4% of Steam players currently have it. If you're like us, we personally played as an introvert playstyle our first playthrough and we really didn't use any of the companion mechanics at all. So for this achievement specifically, we started a new playthrough and we were able to quickly focus on making decisions just to ensure that we were able to hire some of these characters that you're going to end up coming across in the early game as this achievement requires you to recruit 10 separate companions to your crew. So just to kick us off here, all of the companions that we highlight in this section you will come across very early in your playthrough if you're sticking to the main story. Now the option to recruit some of these specific characters will require you to either complete a mission or choose the right dialogue options to ensure that you're able to recruit them. So if you end up making different decisions than we do, or if you're trying to clean this achievement up on a playthrough that's further ahead, stay tuned to the end of this video where we highlight a few other options that you'll have to complete this without needing to start over like we did. We should also note though that these aren't necessarily the best options to assist you with your playthrough. More so, these are fast and cheap options to help you collect this rare achievement and really nothing more. So the very first companion that you will have the opportunity to recruit is Vasco. Vasco is a robotic servant that resides at the Lodge in New Atlantis. As soon as you complete the one small step main story mission, you will have the option to talk to Vasco and recruit him as a companion. After you complete the Old Neighborhood main story mission that sees Sarah Way become your active away. follower, you'll I then know. have the option to recruit like to her as a companion as well. And also though, after you rescue Moara Otero on his ship after the Crimson Fleet attack, you'll be able to visit him at the Broken Spear Bar in Sidonia to recruit savior. him as a free Thanks companion as well. <laughs> While completing the Back to Vectera main story mission, you're gonna have the opportunity to recruit up to three new companions. The first of those being Lynn. Lynn is going to tell you that her mining contract is expiring and she's looking for work, in which case you can then offer her a spot with your crew. Similarly, Heller is going to be in need of assistance after he's crashed his ship on Altair 3. You can have the option to recruit him so long as you don't tell him that you'll come back for him later. Then, after you save Barrett from the Crimson Fleet Pirates and finishing the mission, you'll have the option to recruit him from the Lodge in New Atlantis as well. After speaking with Vladimir at the Eye, he'll have three separate objectives for you all under the guise of the Into the Unknown main story mission. So once you complete the objective for finding Andrea, You'll have the opportunity then to recruit her as a companion now for your crew also. And you must be Even though you're sport. first going to talk with Sam Co at the lodge after Sarah Whoa. introduces you, you will need to complete his The Empty Nest quest, after which you'll be able to recruit him as a companion now also. So the first eight free yeah, companions that we highlighted here very briefly sure are all tied to the very ready. early game well, main story missions. There is another it. main story mission called Entangled that's going to give you the works. opportunity to recruit yet another recruit for free should you choose to save him, but it is considerably later in the game. For companions 9 and 10, for our last two early game and free companion recommendations, we would suggest heading to Aggie's Bar in Aquila and hiring the mercenary Ezekiel. On the odd chance that you chose the adoring fan trait when you created your character at the beginning of the game, just in case you didn't realize, but you can recruit him as well. Now if this is your first playthrough, unless the adoring fan's other benefits are something that you're actually interested in, we definitely wouldn't necessarily recommend wasting a trait here. But since we did start a new playthrough for this achievement specifically, we chose it just to get him as a free recruit. We did have him run up on us after spending some free time in Atlantis, but we believe he should be able to populate in any main game area. 
So this next section is going to be particularly useful for those maybe revisiting this achievement on a later playthrough as you're not likely to have a whole lot of credits in the early game, especially if you're just focused on streamlining the main missions like we were. However, with that said, we were still able to recruit all of these companions fairly quickly on a fresh playthrough by making use of the persuasion skill. Now we would highly recommend searching the bars and clubs on the main planets as there are many hireable companions that can be persuaded to work work for less while talking to all of the different NPCs in the different bars. Some of these places would include the viewport in New Atlantis, Broken Spear in Cydonia, Aggie's Bar and the Hitching Post in Aquila, as well as the Astral Lounge in Euphorica in Neon. So we're going to highlight and focus on the four companions that we found available at the viewport in New Atlantis, really because this is the earliest location in the game. So the first one that we found, and the cheapest, is the Astrodynamic much. Specialist. So he's going to first, when you talk to him, ask for 7,000 credits, but with Persuasion, you can get him down to half Don't of that, so 3,500 credits. You have Another one that you might find here is Marika Boros. So she's going to ask for 15,000 credits, but again with Persuasion, you can get her down to half, and she'll work for 7,500 credits. Gideon Aker is here as well. He'll ask for 16,500 for credits, so 16,500. Again, similar style here. We can get him down to half of that with persuasion, so 8,250 credits. The last one here that we weren't able to actually persuade, we weren't given the option, is Simeon Bankowski. He's going to ask for 12,000 credits. Again, he is the most expensive mercenary that you could hire, at least at the viewport. But again, by this point, you probably have enough companions already to have completed this achievement. So there you have it, another rare yet very easily attainable achievement in Starfield. Now if this video helped you, be sure to subscribe to Friendly Frenzy Games and drop a like on this video. We've got plenty of gaming content on our channel along with many other Starfield achievement guides just like this one.